Hey everybody, it's Supersonic Boom, and today I'm back with another action figure review, this time on either my first or second favorite Sonic action figure, the Sonic Nendoroid figure. So, let's get ready to review this thing. I'll be reviewing the usual categories, boxes, articulation, sculpt, pros and cons, accessories, and warnings, and boy does this have a lot of everything. So, let's start out with the box. Uh, first off, it's really, really nice. You've got all the Japanese writing, which just makes it uh, look cool to us English-speaking people. Uh, we don't actually know what it says, but it just looks cool. On the back, you can see Sonic in a bunch of poses. I like this for ages over 15 years, so now I don't have to feel so nerdy about owning this. Uh, some more poses. The figure displays Sonic nicely in the box, and it really makes you want to open it up and see what's inside. Some more poses. Sonic the Hedgehog logo, more Japanese writing and so on. So, now for the articulation. So, clocking in at about 9 articulation points, you might think, oh, that's not that great. Well, I'm here to tell you wrong. Each of the joints, pretty much, is on a little ball. So his hand, instead of just being able to move side to side like that, it can move up and down and every which way. The same with- oh, that's embarrassing. Um, the head can also do that, and that's the first time I've seen it on a Sonic figure. It is really cool, I like that. I wish that all of the Sonic figure companies would do that. Um, and his feet also move on little ball joints to give you that extra degree of posability. One thing I don't really like about the articulation are the shoulder joints. I mean, first of all, they're not on ball joints, which automatically makes them a little bit less uh, cool than the other uh, articulation points. But it's okay, or it would be okay if they didn't fall off so much. So that's just a small annoying thing about the articulation in the shoulders. So I think I'm going to actually switch things around and talk about the uh, accessories before I talk about the sculpt and paint job. Mainly because the accessories are a huge part of the figure and I feel like I should discuss the sculpt of the accessories as well. So, without further ado, it's accessory time. So, if you thought the Resource figures had good accessories, uh, prepare to be blown away by the Sonic Nendroid, because this thing has some serious extras. First up, you've got a nice, yellow, classic Sonic ring, found in pretty much every single Sonic game. Uh, I do think that the paint was better on the Resource ring, the ring that came with the Resource figures, but this is still very good. Up next, Sonic comes with multiple faces. Here is his smiling one looking to the side, and there's his frowning one, and all of these are replaceable. Uh, he also comes with his third face, which is that one. His mouth is open. It's pretty much the same as this, but his mouth's open. So yeah, there's that. Up next, we have what I consider to be the best Chaos Emerald Extra ever made. The ones that came with the Toy Island figures were really oddly shaped, and uh, the ones that came with the Jazzwares figures were way too big. This one has an excellent sculpt, and it's the perfect size for the Sonic Nendoroid. And also pretty much the perfect size for any other Sonic figure you'll own. Now we have an extra leg for Sonic and an extra arm for Sonic as well. These two are bent so that you can uh, just add some more posability to the figure, put him in some new poses. Really cool. Okay, up next we have a whole lot of hands. You have a fist pose for his left hand and also the open pose that he is in right now. For his right hand, we've got a lot more. You've got the open pose that he is wearing right now. We have the thumbs up pose, which I like, I love, I love that they finally included that in a Sonic figure. We have the wagging finger, which I also love that they included that in a Sonic figure. And we have just a closed fist, which is nice. Jazzwares has all the fists closed on their Sonic figures. This one really adds some variety. Up next, and this is arguably my favorite accessory that comes with this guy, uh, we have not one, but two lamp posts that Sonic uses as checkpoints in the game, uh, the games. These have articulation even. They can go uh, up and down, just like in the games. And if you want to, you can even connect them with this little beam of light so that uh, you can either have him making a checkpoint in the 2D games or in the 3D games, depending on what you want. So that is just another great, awesome little accessory that comes with this guy. Uh, now we have Sonic Stand, which is really great. It's fully articulatable, if that's a word. Can move all different directions and can hold him up so that he can keep any pose you can think of. This arm comes out and you can plug it into any part of the stand you want for maximum posability. Sweet. And just for the heck of it, I guess the Good Smile Company, who makes this figure, threw in two little stands that you can use to either display the ring or the Chaos Emerald. So I'll show you that real quick. 
take the Chaos Emerald off. It has an almost invisible little hole in it. And you can just hold it up like that. And you can do the same thing with the ring. Very nice. Quite like the uh, Resource figure was back in the day. Okay, last but not least is probably my favorite accessory, which is the Sonic Item Box. This is so cool that they included this. And to go even a step further, they included different power-ups that you can put inside of it and display. Uh, you've got your Invincibility power-up, your Shield power-up, 20 Rings power-up, Extra Life, and Speed Sneakers, or whatever they're called. So yeah, the final great accessory. Okay, now that I've talked about all of the wonderful accessories, extras, that come with this figure, I will talk about the great, phenomenal sculpt and paint job. So, with the Sonic Nendoroid figure, I really don't think they were going for either classic or modern Sonic. It's more of a mix of both of them, and I really like it this way. So, if we're not um, judging this figure on being game accurate, this is an extremely well done sculpt. Everything is just immaculately detailed, from the treads on the bottom of his shoes, to his shoe buckles, to each individual uh, fist pose that he has, to every one of the faces that he has. This figure is um, just super quality uh, sculpting right there. As for the paint job, even when I got really, really up close on this figure, I couldn't find so much as a single paint flaw on his shoes, or on his stomach, or on his face, the usual places that uh, Jazzwares likes to mess up. This figure does everything right in the paint area. Seriously though, look how freaking detailed even the eyes are. So I guess this fits in with sculpt and paint job, but I'm gonna tell you a little bit about how the figure comes apart and stuff. Um, each part that comes off, like his hands, just pops easily off, and you can then replace it with whatever hand you want, or whatever other body part you're replacing. His face is also equally cool. You just grab him from the bottom and gently pull out. Yikes, that's what Sonic looks like without his makeup. Um, and then you just pop in another one of the faces. And it's pretty dang seamless. I can't even tell that uh, the figure is able to do that. So, oops. <laughs> well, they did a really great job with that anyway. So, it's time to talk about the sculpt on the accessories. The item capsule is just great. Again, an amazing sculpt, a great paint job. You've even got the little bubble detail down in there. Um, each of the little images is a nice high quality image um, that looks exactly like it does in the games. So very nice job there. Um, the faces, all the other faces are very nicely sculpted. The Chaos Emerald has, I really applaud their uh, effort on the Chaos Emerald. Looks just like the Chaos Emerald, perfect size. The ring, good sculpt. Uh, the color, I would have chosen a different one, but you know what? I really don't even care. That's not even a minus, in my opinion. It's also great. All of the hands are very nicely detailed. Uh, no problems there. Uh, these, the goal, or no, the uh, checkpoints, just extremely nice. You've got four individual little lines running through there. Uh, everything's pretty nice and sturdy, bendable. Um, you have the tiny little stars with no paint uh, errors at all. These can move from side to side. It's just a wonderful paint job and sculpt on every single conceivable piece of thing that they have given you. So I guess time for the pros and cons. The pros, I love the sculpt on this guy. It doesn't look like Sonic does in the games, but it's their own original take on uh, the character. It looks really great. The paint job is amazing. The accessories, you get a buttload of accessories. Totally worth your money. Um, the best accessories I've ever seen come with any Sonic figure ever. Just so cool. From the stand to the stands for the indiv uh, individual accessories, the multiple faces, multiple hand poses. Everything is just so well thought out and made. This is truly a figure for the fans. Cons, really just some minor complaints. His arms fall off a little bit easily, but it's nowhere near being a huge serious problem. I mean, unless you do stop motion with it, then you might run into some errors. Um, his legs also come out a bit easily when you're extending them, but they just pop right back in. It's just nothing really to complain about. So, other than the pretty high price point, I think the cheapest I've seen this guy for 55 or is for $55. I really cannot think of a single other con. This is just pro all the way. Um, as for warnings, I really don't have any. Just be careful with this guy if you have him because he's really something special. 
Um, if you're ordering online, just be warned that the box could possibly be damaged. Mine wasn't. Mine was in mint condition. But other than that, I do not have any warnings whatsoever. So, final thoughts. This is the best Sonic figure to come out since Resaurus Sonic. Neither of the figures really look like Sonic does in the games that much, but they were special because they were well made, they had articulation where it mattered, uh, and they came with some cool accessories. This is a modern Resaurus Sonic, in my opinion. That level of uh, quality and care has not been put into a Sonic figure since Resaurus Sonic and until this guy. This is totally the new standard. I really don't even want to buy Jazzware stuff if it doesn't come close to this anymore. I'm just, I'm tired of Jazzwares. This is where Sonic figures are at. I hope this company makes a bunch more of these or other companies start making stuff like this. This is just very great. My recommendation, if you like Sonic and you like Sonic action figures, get this guy. He's only about $55 right now, only. Well, that's, that's quite a lot of money, actually. But you know what? I think it'll be worth it down the line. This guy is going to be rare and coveted, just like Resaurus Sonic was. So I would get a hold of him. And I hope this review helped you to uh, see what he's like, see if you want to buy him, that kind of stuff. So uh, just leave me a comment or whatever. Um, and thanks for watching. So, peace out.